Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making chuck wagon patties. Alright, I'm starting out here in a large skillet that I've warmed me over medium heat. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil in here, just a little bit. Probably about two tablespoons. I'll give this a stir around here, spread it around the pan. Now I have one large onion that I diced up here. I'm going to add that in. And I'm going to cook this on low just till it's uh, heat it through and starts to get translucent. Okay, while my onions are sauteing over here on low, I have my griddle pan out on medium heat. I'm going to spray with some cooking spray, vegetable spray. And I don't have this set very high. Now I have some frozen burger patties. I'm going to lay them on here. I'm doing eight of them, but I'll do four to shot. And I'm just frying these on here until they get brown and get the sear marks in them. I'm not looking to cook them because they're going to cook in our uh, gravy mixture I'm going to make up over here. Right now that my onions are about halfway sauteed, I'm going to add in three cloves of garlic that I finally chopped and get them going well. And I'm only going to do these for a couple of minutes because I don't want them to get bitter on me if they fry too long or get bitter. Okay, while my burgers are frying, my onions are ready, my garlic's ready, and I forgot to mention, I hit them with some salt and pepper, the burgers. I'm going to add to my frying pan here four cups of beef stock. So I'll use beef broth. It's just beef broth, as a matter of fact, I'm using. And uh, we're going to build a gravy here over top of what the burgers are cooked in. And I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit now, so it's medium high. And I'm also going to add in here a pack of onion soup mix. Now this is the beefy onion. You can also use regular onion soup mix. And a nice dose in this up. It's going to give a good beef flavor. As you can see that onion soup mix is darkening out up nicely. I'm going to taste this Let's see what it needs. I know it's probably going to need salt. And it's going to need some salt. So I'll add some salt to it. And this is the taste. Okay. Give that a stir. And I'll taste that. I'm also going to add some black pepper in there. Just a little bit. And I'm going to add some Marcella cooking wine. So I also use red cooking wine, but I'm now going to add a little bit. About two tablespoons. Give it a taste. I'm going to flip my burgers and I'll be back. Alright, I flipped my burgers and I put more uh, salt and pepper on the other side. And my beef uh, broth is starting to warm up. Now I'm going to throw two beef bouillon cubes in here also. Because I want this extra beefy and rich in flavor. So we have uh, four cups of beef broth in here. One onion, two cloves of garlic, some salt and pepper, a side of Marcella wine, and two beef cubes. Now I have a uh, cornstarch slurry here I made up. I'm going to go ahead and add this in here. And this will help thicken this up into a gravy. And as those beef cubes dissolve in there, they'll darken this up even more. Now my first batch of hamburgers are done. They're brown, I should say. They're still raw in the middle, that's fine. I'm going to get them down into the gravy mixture and drain off the extra blood and grease. And I'm going to fry my other four burgers just so they get this appearance. See how they look like they're grilled? That's what I'm looking for. Okay, all my burgers are fried and they're in that gravy mixture. Now I'm going to put a lid on this and let this slow cook for about a half hour or so. And the reason I'm putting a lid on it is so my gravy doesn't reduce down to nothing. And then right before it's done, I'll take the lid off and allow it to thicken up a little bit. I'd like to take a moment to give a shout out right now to my son Greg's friend,
Patrick Alvarez. I gave him a shout out before, but this kid's a real ham bone. He likes the attention. But he's a good kid and I don't mind. So how's it going, Pat? All right, now my Chuck Wagon patties are done. And halfway through the cooking, I took the lid off to allow that gravy to reduce a little bit and thicken. Let's go ahead and fix the plate and see what we got. I also went ahead and made some mashed potatoes and peas to go with that. So there you have it. Chuck Wagon patties. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see ya.